Patrick McMahon. I'm the president business agent of Local 85, Amalgamated Transit Union, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What are you leaving here with today that you've learned in the four, past four days that will be important both to your members and to the riding public? Well, this conference, I think, was um, very important for the entire ATU. Um, I think it was a long time coming. Uh, but we have to, we all, I think all of us realize that the way we normally do business in the labor movement is, uh, it's not working. You know, we, as a labor movement, seem to be reactionary, and we don't, we wait until things happen, then we react, and we defend ourselves, where we, this, the movement now should be looking to be proactive, and I think that's what the new leadership of the ATU is trying to encourage and to teach through this conference, and I'm sure there'll be others like it, because it's very beneficial. Mm. What surprised you about this conference? Something that you were not expecting or something that actually delighted you and you, you know, the bulb went off and you said, that, I got it. What, what was it this week that stood out? Well, you know, it's hard for me to, to say that because I can say that we have actually been doing this kind of things in Pittsburgh. We're fortunate. In Pittsburgh, we have a very strong labor background. Who We stay together. And we've done these community action, re, you know, working with coalitions. We have done it in the past. I have some experience with that. Although, you can always learn more, and I have learned more here. But it, it's very encouraging that our new leadership has found that this is definitely a way to reshape and to continue the fight to keep our jobs uh, good, uh, self-supporting family jobs. Uh, I, I'm not going where you want me to go, right? And based on that, you just had a major victory. It's the first week in December. You had a major victory in Pennsylvania. It was transit funding because of your work with whom? You said you had coalition partners. In yes, we, we have been working with coalitions, and recently um, the, the, in the new budget for our authority, uh, Port Authority of Allegheny County, they just recently, actually the day before Thanksgiving, they announced that um, due to budgetary and financial crisis in the Commonwealth, lack of uh, transit funding, that they were they were approved, their board of directors approved the 35% service cut uh, Fair, <clears throat> fair increases in January and um, layoff uh, up to 550 members. And that changed uh, the first, second day in December. And what's the good news for Pennsylvanians? Well, the good news is that our, our outgoing governor, Governor Randall, who I must say has been a champion for transportation issues, we have worked with him for the past eight years and his leadership uh, will definitely be missed in Harrisburg. But he has once again pulled through and he found some money uh, through some projects that were not completed and it was excess money and he flexed that money uh, 45 million dollars to give us a band-aid a stopgap measure to avoid the cuts that were coming up in March and to give us enough time to maybe work with the new administration and work for to achieve dedicated funding for mass transit and transportation in general in the Commonwealth. So it was the ATU, other, long, other unions, and community groups and passenger groups getting together to, to save this funding, get this funding back? Yes, absolutely. There are many community groups that we work with in the Pittsburgh area that work for social justice, and definitely transit is on the top of their list of importance, and we have uh, relationships with them and they have been doing postcard uh, letter writing postcard campaigns to the governor asking him to do what he, exactly what he did today we have reached out as a labor movement I have personally met with the governor about two months ago asking him if there was a possibility that he could do this one more time for us um, he didn't give me no promises but um, he gave me a good answer today and he definitely came through and we definitely will miss Governor Randall in transportation mm. Thank you.